On the other hand, this is my premat, and I do leave mine down. Um, Jack, you are not supposed to be on my premat. Hello everybody, welcome to Tubby Tarot. Haha, -ha. you thought I'd left you and deserted you? No, I just moved house, so it's taken me about two weeks to uh, to get back up and running, and I'm still not up and running, but I wanted to say welcome back to the regular um, Tubby Tarot, um, what do you call it, uh, channel, and you see I haven't, I've been on for so little, it's like kind of um, I forgot what I'm doing. Okay, I want to take you up, as I promised, and show you the prayer room. But, guys, it's not done yet. It's not 100%. But I'm going to take you up. Please excuse Jack. He's very excited about the new house. You'll hear him in the background. There he is. Say hello. Hello. Everybody loves you. You, watch, you get your own YouTube channel. Anyway, I want to show you the prayer room. Okay, but please, as I said, it's not 100% done. Come on. Come on. Let's see. Okay, so in this house, we've got to go up a bit of a staircase. It's going to kill me every day when I don't come up and down here. Okay, so as you get to the top, the prayer room is literally right in front of you. There you go. So come on in. Jack, you should not be in the prayer room. I think it's like the first time Jack's been in the prayer room. Okay, so this is the prayer room. As you can see, it's very, very different to the last room. There's no huge windows with the panoramic views, as I've always, I've always shown you. This is very, um, it's small, it's very intimate, and it's going to be a lot more compact with a lot more stuff in it. Okay, I haven't bought any new stuff, so this is all the old stuff, but it hasn't been fully put out yet. All right, but come on in, I'll show you a couple of things. I would like to show you, with Justin's permission, his prayer area. Okay, Justin has a small prayer area here. It is a the high section. Um, although he is multi kind of religious, um, this is his choice of prayer um, area. So he does uh, sort of the high stuff. Um, this is his little prayer mat. Okay, and it's it's really rather beautiful. And once he's done his prayers, when when Justin has finished his prayers, he rolls the mat up. Okay, he doesn't leave it down. On the other hand. This is my prayer mat, and I do leave mine down. Um, Jack, you are not supposed to be on my prayer mat. Jack is guarding my, my altar. All right, when we moved in, we had these shelves. Justin, just check. We had these shelves, and I was like, what the hell am I going to do with these shelves? Because they are actually, they're actually built in. You can't remove them. Okay, so we thought, okay, what I'd do is I'd put some of my books, um, some of my book collection in here. This chair doesn't belong here, okay? This is going, but it has to stay here because we have to still find a home for it. You, anybody who's watched my videos will know this is my great-grandmother's chair. So we want to find a, we find a home for this within our, within our home, okay? Um, put a few things up. You can see that I've got my printer's tray. Um, it's got to get all the deities. I've got all my deities here. Um, my little Kali and my uh, Indian deities. Um, they all have to still be put in here. I have managed to get my Ganeshas in that up. Um, we put the uh, chakra scroll, instead of having it right at the door as you walked in, we've actually now we can display it really nicely. And I can display my skull beautifully on my Sherlock Holmes. I think it's kind of appropriate. And then we've just, I've just placed my Ganeshas here, there and everywhere, instead of having them all cramped up together. Um, yes, I still have my Penis with balls, as you can see. This is for to my fertility and good luck um, um, a deity from um, from Bali when I went to Bali. So it's not naughty, it's actually a fertility symbol. Okay, um, we have taken a lot of the old stuff and we've kind of grouped it differently. We've taken all of Justin's beautiful dream catchers and I've put them again on the window. You can see the window is really long and really weird, it's really strange. Um, it doesn't really let in a huge amount of light, which I kind of like because it keeps the room, um, not brooding, but it keeps the room in, that, in that, that sort of slightly darkened, respectful atmosphere. So we've got all Justin's things beautifully um, arranged over the window. 
uh, and then I've taken the pictures. We are still missing one painting over here, right there, but I've taken the Buddha and I've used my little elephant. And yes, I am going to, uh, I have changed the actual, um, my actual altar. Okay, the, the altar, I've got this beautiful big table here. I've got this gorgeous table. It's called the floating table, as you can see. It's not supported by anything. And then I've put kind of the usual stuff on here. I've got, I'm going to come down here. I've got my, um, my Shiva, uh, which is my main, uh, my main deity. And then look, I found a wonderful spot for my two, um, the giant Ganesha and the little Ganesha. And then I've just got my odds and ends. I've got my, um, my little bottle here for my prayer ash for when I'm finished my prayer. There's the usual bell that you guys know so well. Um, I've got some sandalwood sticks that I, that I can burn. Um, and this is very nice. It's my, as you know, it's where I keep my incense, my little, my little box. My incense holder is still there. Um, this is the new thing. Okay, this is my, my latest. This is a beautiful candle. Okay, take a, take a whiff of this. Just smell this. Oh my God, it's so good. It's, um, it's just this amazing uh, bougie, bougie perfume. Bougie, I love that word, bougie. Bougie perfume candle. Oh, it's absolutely stunning. So I've got that. That's nice for, and I was actually going to mention this a little while ago. This sort of thing is nice. If you, if you live in a small apartment and you have neighbors or, or you have, or, or you, you have a problem with, um, with people complaining about incense, if you're burning incense, okay, what you can do is get yourself a beautifully scented candle, okay, um, and you can burn that instead. It also gives you that, that, uh, that smell, that aroma, that, that scent, all right, which you can use in, as part of your ritual, okay. That's in case people don't like the smell of, of, um, of incense. Also, I think a lot of people are like allergic to that, that so the smoke gets in their eyes and that, okay, so you can do that. Okay, now, moving on. I would, sorry, I would actually just sit on my carpet um, and do my, my thing. Either prayers or, as you can see, I've also included on my altar, which some people would say, oh, it's sacrilegious or whatever, but these are very special to me. As many of you know, these are my aged, very aged, Rider Waite Smith cards. Okay, my RWS, the aged, the aged version. Um, which I just keep right here on my altar so I can just pull them out and do a quick reading. That's why I've left this space over here, is to do a bit of a reading, okay, with any of my cards. Now, ta-da, look, there is the tarot shelf. <laughs> I haven't even started. It's literally just everything squashed in there, okay. But I have found this really beautiful um, uh, jug. It's actually tin, okay? Um, we had this downstairs, and I've kind of repurposed it up here just because I think it's really, really pretty. All hand-painted in that. Anyway, so that's that. I found a spot for my mom's walking stick. As you know, she passed three years ago, and this is really the only thing I've got left of her. And I, I, just, I just believe this is a, a wonderful memento of her because she used this so often. It's definitely imbued with some kind of spiritual energy. And I can... Either, I'm, not, I'm in two minds. Okay, you guys tell me. You guys, here's a question for you. You guys tell me. Should I leave it on the floor like that? Because that's its spot. Or what do you think if I banged a nail in there and I, I actually hung it up? Okay, so that's you guys. Okay, you guys tell me. If, if you think I should hang this thing up or if I should actually leave it on the floor. All right, moving swiftly on. Here is my bookshelf. The rest of my books, okay, I haven't even bothered, I've got Agatha Christie's mixed in with freaking um, Dean Koontz, blah, 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 so this is not an order, this is going to take me a long time to get an order, but look what I've done, I've, again, I've repurposed these heads, I've got my, my um, skull heads, which I'm sure you guys have saw um, in my, my Halloween um, uh, video, and I've just repurposed those as bookends, and the elephants that were on top of one of the shelves, I've repurposed those as well. So yeah, little things like that. Now, this I was going to use as my second printer's tray. I was going to use this as my deity one, but I've decided that it's actually quite small and it's quite it's got it's got bigger 
It's smaller, but it's got bigger holes in it. And what I want to do here is I'm going to put my crystal collection in there. The crystals that I have to sort it out because I want to do specific crystals that will be on, on display. They will not be the crystals that I actually use for what I use crystals for. Um, so the crystals will go in here. So I'm going to move these deities across to the other side. I have my, my beads, my, my, uh, my Shiva beads dangling wherever. Very lucky to have a lovely big mirror. Okay, there's the, there's the mirror. Um, this was here when we, when we moved in. It, the lights, everything were in. Um, so very, very fortunate to have this beautiful mirror. And then this, <laughs> this is the raw. I'm just going to move these. I'm going to show you guys. This is the raw crystal table. I don't know if you guys remember that beautiful crystal table that had the, the, the crystal, the cloth with all the, the hundreds of little crystals that were laid out in a beautiful pattern. Well, that's the raw table. I'm going to have to redo every single little crystal, uh, crystal, uh, crystal layout. So that is going to take me a good while as well. Anyway, so look, that's the, that's the prayer room. I will do a little bit of an update. Um, perhaps in a, in a few months' time, I don't want to keep showing you every time I bring something new in, but perhaps in a few months' time, I'll, I'll actually take you through one of the prayers that I do, and you can then see um, the finished product. How's that? Okay, don't forget to um, look down below and like, share, and tell your friends to subscribe. I'm Matt from Tabby Tarot, and I will see you next Sunday for another Sunday video. Bye, Jack, get out.